welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul with me, Margo. Before I even get started on this video, I do want to let you know, well, I want to apologize. I forgot to give you guys the prices for my last video. And honestly, I was shopping with my sister the next day and she said, Margo, no, not the next day. I'm sorry. It was, we were shopping on Sunday. And she said, Margo, you didn't put your prices in the video. And I said, I do realize that. Once my son and I were putting the video on, we both said it. And, uh, well, anyways, I apologize, and here are the numbers. So what I spent was, and it wasn't a very big haul, but I spent $45 on that last haul. And had I gone to Walmart, Target, or Amazon, it would have been approximately $88.35. And that's a difference of $43.35. And again, that's why I love Dollar Tree. All right, so let me get into this haul. This one is decent size, and I am going to start with the food and drinks as usual. Um, oh, I do also want to mention my last video, the 500 subscriber giveaway contest is until August 1st, so you still have time. Please go back to that video and enter the contest. Okay, so here we go. I did pick up this uh, Power Aid, Power Water. My husband really likes these. My son does too. It's 20 fluid ounces for $1.25. Eh, that's okay. I guess if I, I bought like a six pack or something at um, Walmart, it probably would be cheaper. I saw these raspberry preserves. I absolutely love raspberries. And this is 16 ounces. And I don't think $1.25 was that bad for the 16 ounce and here are the nutritional facts on it and i don't know if there's there there is an expiration date but i'm not sure if i can see it um best by august 26 2024 so we got a long way to go on that one i picked up these mints we all like them the lifesaver mints Winter green, and this is a 2.81 ounce. $1.25 is still a little bit cheaper than Walmart. Um, then I found these, not, I didn't find these crackers. I saw these crackers, and I picked them up for my husband. As you guys know, he likes the cheese ones, not the peanut butter ones as much. Although he does like the peanut butter and jelly. So I got him the white cheddar and then the cheddar cheese ones. And I also picked up these, again, the cheese, Ritz Bits, but he takes these for his lunches, so. And this one is two and a half servings, and it is three ounces. And here's the nutritional facts on these. And a $1.25 is probably average. Um, I do want to say that I shop within, uh, I'm going to say, I don't even know how many miles, but within 30 minutes from where I live. I am centrally located in Connecticut, so I've definitely hit many, many, many Dollar Trees in Connecticut. My goal is to hit every one of them. Um, I do have a list going on, and I could show that to you guys once I do pull that out on another video, but what I do is I highlight all the... Dollar Trees that I've gone to in Connecticut and then I also have written down all the Dollar Trees that I've gone to in other states like uh, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, Massachusetts, that might be, oh no, Vermont and New Hampshire. But um, yeah, so I'll show you guys that list. I'll have to put it together and show you guys that list but I'm getting there for, as far as the Connecticut stores go. Okay, let's continue with the haul. So also in the food and drink, um, I forgot who I saw. Oh, I think it was Twisted Gypsy. I saw her hauling these, and um, we love cashews, so I picked these up. These are great snacks. And peanuts, or any kind of nut, actually, because it's protein, it holds you over. So if you're out shopping <laughs> and you get hungry and you're not ready for lunch yet, that's a great snack. This is a repeat buy, this country um, country gravy mix. I know it's a little warm to be making this gravy, but um, 
we had talked about this the other day, making the chicken with that bread coating that um, I think it's from Tasty something from Dollar Tree. And we put this on there and it's fabulous. Very, very good. Okay, so that's it for the food and drink. But here is some kitchen stuff. We needed the uh, freezer Ziploc bags. And the reason why I buy the freezer ones, it doesn't matter what I use it for. They're thicker. It doesn't matter which brand. If I can get, I, the brand doesn't bother me as much. Not so much bother me, but it doesn't matter to me as much the brand as the thickness. So if you get freezer bags, you're in. They're thicker. That's not really a great buy, but I was at Dollar Tree and we needed them. So then I found this spray lubricant um, by Tool Bench. And if you guys have ever bought the WD-40, which is exactly like this, you know it's not cheap. So this is a four ounce can and it's like $8 for WD-40 and that's a family dollar. So I figured I'd pick this up and I'm not positive, but I'm really hoping it works just as well. Then I found these. These are the little mason jars with the shaker on top you know for like salt and pepper and stuff cinnamon and sugar but the reason i bought these i actually bought six of them is to put those um the sprinkles that i had purchased the twinkle brand they come in like plastic pouches so i'm gonna put these to put them all in here i think it's gonna be cute lined up i'll even put the eyeballs in there i found these um Firm, my husband likes firm toothbrushes, so when I saw them, firm is really not easy to find either. Either This is by Dental Guru Clinic, Clinical Care Plus Brilliant Clean, and it comes with the case. But because it's the firm, I did pick up two of them for him. Because so, like I said, they're not that easy to find. I know the dentist actually prefer that you use the soft, but he, he likes the firm, so... Um, I picked up the leather for my mom, and I actually found another color. This is the black one. I had purchased the blue one, the brown one, and the white one. And I found the black, so mom, I got you the black one. My sister was with me when we went shopping on this little shopping spree here. And she picked up these two things of material, and she said, Margo, you should haul these because they're very cute. But look, she loves gnomes. Look at how cute. This is the fall one. This is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It is so cute. So, not sure what she's going to do with this. But she picked up that one. And then she's a huge, huge Smurf fan. <laughs> so when she sees red mushrooms, of course, she thinks of the Smurfs. And so when we saw this material, she's like, oh, I got to pick that up. And it's very fall, the colors. Very cute. See, it's got all the red mushrooms on there. They have really nice um, fat quarters. If anybody sews, not even, you don't even have to sew. You could decoupage with this stuff. And so, yeah, they had really nice materials. Um, then I found these natural pumpkin picks. There was actually three different ones. Like, I don't remember seeing these last year. And these are just so, so pretty to me. So it looks like jute that's kind of braided and made into this pumpkin. And then there's this one that is white. I'm not sure what, it's like a cotton material. This is more the, the glue. And it's got the little stem. These are adorable. They're probably like two inches high and maybe three inches wide. Very cute. They had another one. It was similar to this. Uh, I want to say it was a lighter color, though. I'm not sure why I didn't pick it up. My sister and I both saw this, Johnson & Johnson Baby Lotion, and we were trying to smell it, which is, this is a good thing, though. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, um, it's sealed tight. So that's a good thing. We couldn't even open ours to smell them. But we know what it smells like. And my sister's actually putting a bin together for her 
someday grandchild. And she put that in there and I said, oh, I will be using mine. I just love, love, love the smell of that. And like I said, my sister, she spotted these right away. These are styrofoam mushrooms and they are three pack. So she spotted these right away, but they come in three different colors, I believe. So we picked up the red ones. We both picked these up. The brown ones. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do with these yet, but we'll figure it out. And then this one is like a like a teal. But very cute. I've never seen these before. Three-piece mushroom. I found these. Well, I was so glad. I had seen people hauling these, and I was really hoping to find them. They're the um, glass votives for the candles. And as I said, my living room, I'm putting everything in black and white. I did start my shelving, and there's two different patterns. This one has butterflies and flowers, and the other one, I think, is just flowers. Yep. They're beautiful, though. I found a couple more, Stitch and Weft. Um, so when my mom comes, uh, all of us will get together, of course, and I'm going to bring all the ones that I bought over, and we're all going to choose whichever ones we want. This one says Welcome on it, and this one is just black and white stripe. But these are, like, the quality on these are awesome. These go from anywhere from, like, 9 to $14, something like that. And this is the second one. Oh, I'm sorry. This one is a Joseph A. Collection kitchen towel. And I believe it's the same size. It is 28 by 18. This is 100% cotton. And this one is Chef at Work. It's um, off-white. And then this side says, that was almost good. <laughs> That's so funny. I picked this up, the Ear and Nose Trimmer by uh, Barbasol. They had these last year, too. Pick that up. Then, then, I was so excited. Ta-da! The Farmer's Market. The um, 2023 calendars are out, and I picked up. There is six to this, the, this collection. This is the Farmer's Market collection. So I picked up all six, and it says today is a good day for this one. And I'm going to explain to you what I do with these. And here are all the, all the uh, different months and what they uh, show. Then there's this one, Home Sweet Home. This one is, is very similar to... Um, one of them that they had last year. And here's the 12 different months in the back. Then there's this one, Farmer's Market. I like this one too. Actually, they're all nice. These pictures are so nice. And here are the 12 months in the back. They had all different ones. There's animals. There's... um. Yeah, like I said, all different ones. Um, but I just chose the six from the farmer's market. And this one is farmhouse, or the farm farmhouse ones, I guess. This one says home on it. And here's the back. So actually, I do something with this part. Actually, let me just open one up for you. I wanna show you something. Okay, so with this top part right here, there's two more calendars after this, but I just wanted to explain something to you. If you get this frame at Dollar Tree, it's a 12 by 12, and you can keep this if you want and just um, put it in the back of the picture, but these right here fit exactly in here. I made so many frames last year just to put around the house. So that's what I do with this part of the calendar, the top parts of the calendar. And then in the back, I cut all of these right here. And I take the tumbler blocks and 
I take three of them and I glue them together. And this fits exactly on top of these three, the, this square right here, these squares. And if you put a magnet in the back, perfect. I made a lot of these last year. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make some more, obviously, I'm gonna make some more this year with um, all these calendars. Okay, so let me show you the last two calendars from this series. This one is one day at a time. This one's also very nice. And then there's different sayings on the back. And all of these, you could cut all of these out. Each one of these for the month, like I said, you could put in the frame or just pick your favorite ones. And then I cut these out and I make magnets. I think I've used every one of them last year for the, uh, the magnets. Okay, and last but not least, this is Callan's favorite from Crazy Days of Callan. My husband and I were watching her haul and she was hauling these calendars. And before she got to this one, I said to my husband, I go, I bet you the colorful one is going to be her favorite. And sure enough, it was. But dream big. And the back, I could see why she likes them. Very, very nice. So I'll be making magnets out of all these and I'll, I'll frame some of these. They're so nice. So, so nice. So that's it for the calendars. Then I picked up some fall decals for work. And these ones are actually a little bit different than last year. Uh, one of them might be the same. They're even a different size. But this one is a 20 piece. And it says, gather together. So they go this way. Last year they were a different size, but that doesn't matter. We're pulling the decals off. This one I believe we had last year. Faith, family, friends, and football. We like watching football here. That is one sport I actually, I enjoy watching it. Okay, and then this one says, be thankful, blessed, and grateful. And it has all these leaves on it. So I bought one of each except for this last one it was my favorite oh these pumpkins are so bright i bought two of these ones look how bright those colors are i love that and you could use these for crafting you can use them for anything the acorn oh i love 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 the colors so like i said yep i got two of these ones oops so well, I'll be putting these up at work probably. Well, we go back to school August 24th, so fall's not too far behind that. I found some more chenille um, yarn. I found the black, which I hadn't had. I was happy to find that. And then the pink one that I picked up. So the other pink I had was baby pink. And then I found the bright pink. I have not gone back to get the turquoise ones yet. I haven't been in that area. Hopefully they're still there when I go to get them. So I needed more of these, the tiles. I want the black ones. So I picked up two more packs of these. I have plenty of the regular wood ones, but I want the black ones. So I needed more and I picked those up. And unfortunately I had to pick up two sympathy cards. So I'm going to keep those out so I can mail those out right away. And then I have books. This one is Disney Pixar Onward, and it's a hardcover. This is going to go to my niece. And this one, the regular price was $9.99. This says the Deluxe Junior Novelization. So it's just a chapter book. And then my sister picked this one up, but I think I'm going to read it after her. And it is Erwin Mortier, Marcel Pushkin Press. She was reading it a little bit yesterday. Well, this part right here. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to borrow it from her. Once she's done reading it, I'll read it. I'm not big on reading, but this looks like a pretty quick book. 
Then I picked up a couple of Monster Highs for um, my niece. And this one is Boo York, Boo York, a monster musical. How funny. And this is based on the movie. This is a soft cover. And regular price on that one is $5.99. Oh, forgot to tell you the regular price on this one. This one is $14.95. And another uh, Monster High, and I don't know if she has this one or not. This one looks a little familiar, but we'll see. And this one is based on the movie. Well, it's a different one, though. And this one's a hardcover. And this one went for $9.99. And it's a chapter book. Oh, it's got a poster at the end cute. And then I found this Meet the Ghouls character guidebook for Monster High. I thought this was adorable. This is hardcover. And this one went for $9.99 as well. And so it is a guide to the ghouls. It tells you, um, let's see, their names. Oh, and then some facts about them, like Age 1.601 or 1,601. Oh, that's hysterical. There's another one. <laughs> this is cute. This will be, uh, oh, I bet you my niece. She loves cats. She'll love that one. All right. Then I found, I was very, very surprised to find this, and this is Whole30 Food Freedom Forever, Letting Go of Bad Habits, Guilt, and Anxiety Around Food. And bestseller, co-author of It Starts With Food. And this is the hardcover. And let's see. Um, change Your Diet. The Rest, no, The Reset, Nightshades, Structural Elimination, all sorts of stuff in there. This one went for $27. And then there was this one, and I think it's the same thing, but it's a soft cover. I'm pretty sure it's the same, but it's a soft cover one. And this one went for $17.99. Then I found this one I was very happy about. 150 recipes for every social occasion. And friends and family. Let me show you some of these recipes. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good. All these colors, right? These look so good. And the regular price on this one was $30. This one's pretty big. All right, so that is it for this haul. Let me get you some prices. So what I paid for this haul was $75. And had I gone to Walmart, Target, or Amazon, it would have been approximately $261.47. And that's a huge difference of $186.47. And again, that's why I love Dollar Tree. Thanks, guys, and take care until next time. Love you, bye.